Welcome to Jumper Cable Dads. In this video on the mower build, we're going to do the rear end, gonna make a swing arm with a jack shaft, do the suspension, put some new tires on it, get the seat in maybe, do the steering, get the suspension on the front end done. We'll put the engine plate in too. So uh, let's go ahead and get after it. All right, update. I got the engine plate tacked in and I got the steering tacked in. Need to do an alignment. Needs to be supported a little bit. It's got a little up and down play, but no side to side other than there's a little bit of play in here. Never mind. Two U joints. They're locked in up here and down here, and it goes down to the rack and pinion. Let's give it a try. Good. So let's get it on a tripod and sit in it and see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Can I lean back? A little bit. Okay. I like... The position? I like the position. I like how I feel like I'm lounging. <laughs> Feels nice. Give her a give her a turn. It's so easy. It's uh it's about 340 degrees lock to lock. That's good. Yeah. I love how you got the steering wheel like figured out. It looks great. Uh okay, so the sprocket is gonna go through here. So I'm gonna have to chop out and do like a chain way through here because the jack shaft's gonna go down here. So piece of one inch, it almost fits perfect. So there is a little play. That's about as close as I could get it on everything I had laying around. Talk me through what I'm looking at right now. Yeah, what you got going on? All right, so this is my jack shaft. Swing arm will be off of this, do a plate. Swing arm, so a plate on this side. Tacking in the one inch tube for the swing arm. This will be the hard mount to the frame somewhere. So we gotta figure out how to get this in there and where we need to chop the frame. Yeah, keep in mind your pivot point will matter for how long your swing arm is and Yeah, but the center of the axle travel. is gonna be like right here. So if we did it like here, there's like no travel. Yeah, you're right. So I think it needs to be like up here. And then it gives a better angle on that chain from the engine to the jack shaft. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if we did, you're right, we did some angle iron, welded it on there. Kind of make tabs. Kind of coming off. So these are going to have to be bolted to the bottom of those, like that. After that's figured out, then we can just chop off the back end of this frame, get it out of here, and start working on your swing arms. Swing arms. Got two of them made. Nice. Dude, it's the wrong side. What? Look. They have to be mounted like this. The holes gotta be on top. You did it the wrong way. No. You make a new one. No, flip it around. What are you talking about? No, look, here. Hold the other one up. Hold that here. Yeah. Right? You think that's wrong? Yeah. It's not wrong. Where'd the cross car go? Or cross. <laughs> Where'd the mower go? Here it is. All right, so what we're trying to do right now is get the jack shaft straight with the frame. 
kind of gives you a better look at the front end as well with the steering. Yeah, and then also more points to weld. All right, so now I'm just trying to make sure the jack shaft is straight and we can chop part of the frame. We'll probably do in line with where about where the seat will be. Oh, I'm too far over, but I should have just wrote high right there. Good enough for jumper cable, dads. I've only been to the ER for metal in my eye twice. I got it on camera. Bark. All right, tough guy, let's move it. Yeah. It's not as late. <laughs> Let me know if you need a hand. Yeah, I got it. I don't need you. Kyle does it by himself. Kyle doesn't do lawn mowers. He's going to want him after this. Scott's bending up the hoop for the seat mount in the front, and it's going to go. I put that in the seat bar. Why is it hot? I welded it. Oh. Makes the whole frame more rigid. You pop this seat in, it fits right in. Just imagine your wheels are right here. Give it the goose. Blah. Okay, so I got these pillow blocks. Don't mind the mismatched bolts. Then I made these plates. Just notched a piece of tube. Gonna slide that in there. Gonna weld that side or the jack shaft side. This is for the swing arm. We'll do one on the top. One on the bottom, and then from Go Power Sports, one of these, and do the same thing on this side. All right, I got this tacked in. Let's mock it up and see how it looks. Last night, I got the two main parts of the swing arm tacked in. I still need to add second bearings on the outsides do some extra pieces off the swing arm, and then I need to do some cross pieces to support it and make it more rigid. Because right now it's got a lot, kind of a lot of flex, which is cool, but I don't want chain popping off. I also need to get the tires put on so I can get kind of accurate on those outside bearings. Now I've got the bearing here. Put a slight bend in this and then cut it right at the bend and slide it in the bearing and then put it up there. So now I just need to make three more identical to this. Then do some cross members on that, cross members on this. Then I'm going to do a piece from here to this one with a bend out behind the brake rotor. Bend back to this one, to this one, to sturdy it up back here. Give me a spot for the caliper to mount to. It's a good spot to grab onto. Um, also, it'll be a good spot for the hitch. Make three more of these weird notched and bent pieces. Got them tacked in there. Swing arm is looking good. Now I need to put a little couple of cross members in there. Got the tabs in, not well, tacked in for the shocks. Pretty good angle. I got a swing arm tacked in. I got shocks tacked in. Let's get it off jack stands, put the seat in, and see how it rolls. It's off. Seems to roll pretty good. Let's be adventurous and put the seat in. Everything is just tacked. I don't think I fully welded a single thing. <laughs> Oh man. That rolls so easy. Might be Busco in that shock. I don't even know how the stance looks. But it looks squatted. Now granted the engine is not in the front, so I'm still missing, I don't know how much that weighs, 75 pounds, 100 pounds with that torque converter. It's heavy. I will take it. This thing's gonna be sick. I still need to do some cross members on the swing arm to make it a little more rigid. The main chassis, the C-frame, still need to do some cross members on that because it is a little wobbly still. Other than the cross members, get the engine in. I gotta cut a little channel for the chain for the jack shaft, get the gas tank figured out, get the battery figured out. We're ready for a test drive? Oh, brake. 
throttle. I might do a handbrake for the rear and foot brake for the front. Because the front's drums and the rear is going to be hydraulic. I'm still surprised how well this is turned out. <laughs> Alright, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned. Probably the next video will be riding this thing. Giving it a test drive. And then have this thing out at Busco for Mini Mayhem. Alright, thanks. Yeah. <laughs>